I'm trying to remove some of the heaviness. So, what are you, a 49? Like, I don't know. It ain't the Ravens. So, I'm walking in front of the game and I'm going to do, I'm going to get, this is going to be me tonight. This is going to be me. Walking in front of the TV with my husband and my son watching the game and I'm going to say. Yes, you heard that right. She's going to walk in front of the television with her son and husband right there and give a little doo-wop, pop-pop. Anyway, hello. Yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, this is another installment in the So-So Chanel Chronicles, y'all. Uh-huh, and we're going to get into it. Honey was on a different swag bag yesterday y'all i don't know if y'all saw that live but um mm -hmm. but before we get into it you know what to do thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already and cut your notifications on and leave a comment we back in it y'all and i look good and i look good and i look good i look good and i look good thousand thoughts that you have a day that turn into your beliefs and most of those 60 to 80 thousand thoughts that you're having a day are all the same thoughts about the same thing and ain't none of them good did she say 60 to 80 thousand thoughts a day oh my goodness i hardly have 10 a day what is she talking about and then she has a nerve to say ain't none of them good oh who is this therapist that she supposedly is going to because they're doing one of two things. Either they are just taking her money, or you know what? They just don't exist. I think she's lying. She ain't going to no therapist. Oh my goodness, this darn cop is in the background. And I'm not doing this darn thing over. I'm just not. But y'all get what I'm saying. This girl needs to be picked up by this cop. And people like, oh, she like drama. She don't know no better. She don't know no other way. She hadn't experienced nothing else. It's in her, it's in her, it's in her environmental, biological, neurophysical, like it's. <laughs> Y'all seen that Tupac interview when he was talking about that he was incubated in jail. Uh, no, your mama was in jail and you were incubating your mama's belly. And you would have never known that she was in jail unless she told you. See, this is the thing. Her mother should have never told her that she had was born or created in a side hustle, if you will. Oh, no, she should have never told her that because she's actually adopted this new way, not knowing anything other than drama because that's just what she likes. Oh, she knows another way. She knows better, but she doesn't want to do better. Just like a Jezebel. You could do better, but never did better. Uh-huh. Him. You know, sometimes people don't know no other way. Like, when you realize that that shit is ingrained in you, you got it from your mama, she got it from her mama, they passed it down, you gave it to your child, now you realizing it, and you're dealing with it on the side where your child got it in your mama head, and you're trying to figure things. Ooh, when she started doing all that fast stuff, you either zone out or got to really peel your ears. Y'all heard what she said? Mama had it, grandma had it, she done passed it to her, and now she passes the child, and then you know, she acting like she don't have nothing to do with it, right? She acting like she don't have it her, herself because she done passed it down to her child. No. You have the option of putting that mess down and saying, I want a better way. You have an option, but she never did that. Because she stayed all, you know, chemicaled up and, and chasing the flesh and all of this. This is all an excuse. Okay? It sounds good. It's great for likes. But this is some uh, a bunch of you know what. Exactly. Don't buy it. you like, I don't really feel happy like this. But I don't know no other way. Like, people be like, yo. She like drama. People used to say, this lady always, about me. This lady always on live crying. Why would I, why the f*** would I pick that? Why would I pick that? You get what I'm saying? And if I loved it and I knew it got me views, why would I stop it to heal myself? First of all, you can't heal yourself. Only God can heal you. You got to let him in and let him do the work because he the one who created you. You don't even have the God darn materials or the darn skills to heal yourself. Them little silly books. Happy days. I remember she was reading that and she hadn't been happy since, if ever. She don't even know how to spell the darn word. Uh-huh. Here again, this is an excuse. And it's a whole different spirit on her if, during this video, if y'all don't see it. She got that side ponytail. She thinks she all that. Uh-huh. What she take before this darn live? Mm-hmm. She letting her scurry. I could still be crying, cry right now and pull 2,300 people. 
I'm not going to do that because I don't want to because I finally realized I could pick something else. So Y'all heard what she said, right? She said if she wanted to, she could pull in thousands of people just based on her crime. See, remember I said she letting her skirt hang. See, she just let us know that it's all been an act. She knows what to do. But I'm going to tell you why she can't do it now. Because she's highly dehydrated because now she's back on them darn chemicals. And I'm going to tell you, that real estate business is not going to last too long. Hey, I'm just calling it out. You can't be like this and show yourself out and all this. This lady, by the way, didn't have any goddamn undergarments on it during this video. I had to really edit this. She looked like, um, I can't even tell you what she looked like. Y'all know what she looked like. When I was in the middle of that and people used to talk about me, somebody tagged me yesterday in the video of a grown man, a big light-skinned grown man talking about me in a video a year and some change ago and somebody tagged me in that. First of all, y'all, where where the person tagged? Because I went back to that video that was made back in 2022. That's what really kind of got us to do the Social Chanel Chronicles. And I didn't see nobody tagging. Maybe they maybe they sent her the video. But she acting like she didn't see this video back when it first came out. Honey, she has been fibbing, 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 okay? Yeah, she already knew the deal. And the guy is not overweight. The guy looks regular you get what i'm saying yeah and he has one video on his channel to our 60 so i really do think this was a little snipe at us but who knows i don't know all this time later after all i worked through to go through what that felt like to be attacked like that for how i feel and express myself why would i do that why would i pick that so that i could be attacked for it belittled shamed I'm a giver, y'all. I, I challenge you guys to actually search that video. It's called, um, I don't know what it's called, but it doesn't have social so Chanel in it. And that's probably why you probably wouldn't be able to search it. But it was basically saying that a woman left uh, for a pookie or something anyway. He was not attacking that lady. He was not judging. He was just call it, basically do what I do or doing what I do, which is just comment on what she said. The girl had a low cut shirt on. She had her teeth in there looking like whatever and talking about basically how she cheated on her husband with teeth and really wanted kudos for that. You guys look at that video, let me know. Judge, criticize, ridicule, like why would you pick it? Let alone share it. Somebody you know, somebody you know right now, and this is going to be big. This is going to be big. What I'm going to ask of you is going to be really, really big. Somebody you know needs such a high level of grace and compassion from you because they are picking drama because they don't know how to pick something else. Her neck really should be, you know, hurting with all that weight. But anyway, look, she spread her own business. She thought that it was cool. She was basically, um, what is it? Well, we're sus with a G. Uh, I don't know. Goodness, this 40-year-old brain. She was basically think, thinking that telling that story was going to give her a boost. And it was just the opposite. She put it on her TikTok and it caught my attention as well as the guy's attention if you didn't want anybody to talk about it you shouldn't have made it it is your fault understand and you have just the right amount of grace to give them undeserved unmerited favor because god gave you just the amount of grace that you need he gave you more grace than you needed right with the forgiveness and mercy and blessings that he done put in your life don't make don't get me started somebody it is your partner your crazy ass oldest middle child or youngest it is your co-worker it is your big sister it is your baby brother it is your addicted friend somebody you know needs some grace from you and you think that that means let them run you over but that's not what it means that means you have grace and compassion to give them 
without it being here. Here's your license to keep hurting me. Here. And take this too. Here are your licenses to keep hurting and lying to me. Here's your license to do all this again. No. You have grace and compassion to give to somebody around you. And the word I was looking for was glorifying. She was actually glorifying cheating on her husband, breaking up a family, and getting married to her side dude. Uh-huh. Okay. So she wants grace and mercy. She has grace and mercy. The fact that she's still breathing and, and talking, we all have grace and mercy. That's how, you know. But grace and mercy doesn't mean that it's going to take away from what you're doing and what you've done in the past. You have to repent. And unless you repent, it's, you're not going to be clean. You're going to still have that burden and that heaviness on you. That's what's going on. She's not repenting. She's not admitting that she was wrong. That's what's going to on. To free yourself from the, 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 the high level of pain that they're causing in your life. Because they don't know no better. They're giving you the best that they got. And you ain't got to meet them there, but you can grace them. And you know, I had to learn that. I had to learn that for strangers. I had to learn that for people who my good name through the mud on YouTube and TikTok and Facebook and IG. Did she say good name? No, 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 no. She dragged her own good name through the mud on IG, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Facebook. She did all that. Ain't nobody else do that. She went on TikTok and told everybody that she was messing with, messing around with teeth when she was happily married, supposedly. That's what she said. She's told all of their business saying that they were all up in clubs doing stuff they had no business doing as, as married people. She said that. How would anybody be able to make a video of her if she didn't put it out there? Yeah, she, she's lying to herself. I had to learn how to give compassion, grace, and understanding to idiots. I had to learn how to say, I've done the work. I continue to do the work. So being mad at this person, especially this far after the fact, I'm grateful for them because they helped me to go to a deeper level of myself. And there you have it. And that's what it was about. He even said in his video that he, you know, wasn't sure she was going to watch it. And we all know she's watched several of these videos. Yes, it's, it's forced her to kind of like slow down. Because even though it looks like she is still, you know, down the road of this, the, what is it, destruction. She's actually changed. She slowed down a little bit. I mean, she had to. It started affecting her mothering. It started affecting her being a wife. Honey, she could she could even be a pup parent anymore. I mean, it is really affecting her business. It's affecting everything. So, honey, you had to reflect on what you're doing. Had to. They helped me to ask Holy Spirit to come in and, and, and put words into my mouth and put thoughts into my head and put actions into my hand and give me a purpose and prepare all this mind game and manipulation please do not bring the holy spirit or god into this honey that's not what's in her right now giving her all of this uh pride and arrogance uh-uh we all know who's in her jezebel i've said on several of my videos it's jezebel right now she ain't looking at nobody but herself she don't see us she sees herself she's talking all these words in her own reflection ask the holy spirit no honey no is this no you're not being possessed by the holy no 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 let's let's just keep it real this is the devil thing so i'm gonna tell you that's why this this channel is here about this because we have to you know tell the truth and shame the devil for the purpose somebody went on youtube and dragged me and i gotta be grateful for it now because it changed me and now i gotta have compassion grace and even understanding like I said before, ain't nobody drag her. Now, I did revisit that video, y'all. I did revisit that video. And it does have 200-something thousand views and 4,000 comments. It trumps our whole So So Chanel Chronicles all put together. So, I 
maybe that's trending again and it's getting on her nerves. But the guy himself did not say anything negative in my opinion but the the comments did and so that's what's going on and they ain't dragging them. they just basically you know responding to her actions clean up your actions and then maybe people won't say nothing because they couldn't say anything you know that's how it works see that face she was making that's a, what's some possession going on you know, she's trying to hold back, but honey, the Bible says what's in the heart comes out. Oh, yeah, something's going on with her right on this video. And only people with discernment will be able to see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I'm going to tell you, that Jezebel spirit is not nice. It is the most evilest spirit out there. And it can't hide. It's going to come out all of the time. And she's not strong enough to see it. She needs deliverance. She really does. I mean, we all do, but she really, really, really does. I, I gotta have those things for these hurt people. And then I have to go back after I done gave them all the grace and compassion and understanding that I can bust up. And, it take, and you can't just do it a little bit. God requires you to pour that. God requires you to pour that so he can put it back. God requires you to pour that old grace and understanding and compassion and wisdom out so he can fill it up again, fill it up with something new, right? So I... I... And she is not pouring out something that she doesn't have. Jezebel doesn't have grace, mercy, and compassion. See? Yeah. She's just, yeah. She just knows that she's God and she's his sidekick. No, darling. He doesn't need your help. He doesn't need your permission. He is he is the grace giver, the compassion giver. 100% no matter what you do. She ain't giving no grace or compassion to no one. She did what she did, and that was the result of what she did. People are going to have an opinion. Everybody is not going to kiss your honey, okay? That's not, they're not going to do that. They're going to tell the truth. I had this is to her do time that to so that. that I could then find grace, compassion, words that I freely, transparently, openly, authentically, and honestly shared and beat me up with them. So I beat myself up that they did that to me. So now I got to grace, understand, compassion them, and then I got to give it to myself too. So I'm going to say it again because we way off track. In my opinion, you can't give yourself grace and mercy. Grace and mercy shall follow you all the days uh, of your life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, honey. You got you to gotta serve God, baby. You got to humble yourself. You have nothing to do with that. Just the, the fact that we get up in the morning, the fact that I'm able to do all of this after all the things I've been through, that's grace and mercy. Nor do you want to just live in grace and mercy all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to always need grace. You want to ask God for forgiveness so you can be more stable. Because when we do grace, honey, that means we did something wrong. And we at the mercy of God. Let's just get this right. Somebody somewhere in your life, distant or close, needs some grace from you. And it don't mean call them and tell them and let them stomp you around and walk all over you like a dog. Because, child, that video is still circulating about me. I can search it up right now. And and it was still sting. And I ain't never watched it. It was still sting. By the way, if you put So So Chanel in the search bar of YouTube, all of us, our videos will come up. So if you want to see that actual video that she's talking about, the video is called, I left my marriage uh, for my childhood pookie boyfriend. Okay, that's what it's called. And you guys make your own opinions on whether she was dragged in that video because I don't think she was. It was the same kind of reaction video like we do. We play clips and then we respond, okay? Those comments are very enlightening, though, okay? It's 4,000. Have fun. All right, guys? Yeah. As though it just happened, okay? And that, that, I look good. 
like I said, maybe it's the braids talking. Not really. I feel like that in my mohawk. Like, I feel like that right now. I look good. I can take this side ponytail and turn it to a bun right now. You won't even be able to talk to me. Because not only have I been blessed on an emotional and a mental and a spiritual and a physical and a financial, every kind of way, physically... I don't not like this mirror. Oh, we know Queen Jezebel. Mm-hmm. Talking about she look good. She look good. Honey, a person with this ermine looks at this and is like, yeah, whatever. Because it's not about your flesh, baby. First of all, our flesh is weak. It's about that spirit. And we all know that that spirit needs help. Oh, it definitely shows she's been through some things. And her flesh as well. No. She trying to convince herself she looks good. Yeah, because nobody else is saying that. Not even her own husband. Y'all hear that echo. It don't seem like there's no life in that house. Even with her in it. Mm. I'm okay with this mirror. You see that? My neck is hard. My waist is snatched. I got on a skims dress. My underwear is showing. My, my tri is working out. I got abs under here. You can see them if I show you. My biceps is leaning. My clavicles, my chest, everything. I get up in here. You can see my lats building up. Like on top of everything else, I look. Um, did this lady just put herself on a darn shopping block? I mean, is she selling herself here? I'm just keeping it in, keeping it real. Who cares about all of that? Honey, this whole video, she didn't even mention not a house or, or clothes. Okay? But she mentioned on how good her body looks. Baby, you had a BBL. Your stomach flat because you had a BBL. Your back's is clapping because you had a BBL. See the lies that she's selling? She didn't get those that body from the darn gym. Oh, and she's starving herself too. That's why you can see the muscles in her really? arms. On top of everything else. I know how to cook. If my leg had to go up in the air, everything that would happen after that would be amazing. And I look good. So if you're not telling yourself that all night tonight, don't comment in my live.